So these are all, they look like there's some kings from other countries too. Oh, there are some lamprophytes from others, yes. Yeah, that's, I saw that. I was like, mm, we yes. don't have anything like that in Florida. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, thanks. So these jars contain Florida King Snake Getula from all the different counties, historical. So I want to take a look and see some of the ones from the counties that can't find them in anymore. So here's Hillsborough Kings, which really hard to find, Hillsborough County Kings. Yeah. And these have speckling on them. Which is really cool. They seem to be consistent with the ones found not too long ago. There's Henry, the South Florida. Alachua County. They almost look like Canefield Kings. Yeah, that one's not Eastern King looking at all, is it? Nope. These are all Alachua in these jars here. And as you can see, they vary somewhat. Look at the wide banded one right there. Yeah. <laughs> and it has speckles too. Yeah. bands on these snakes. When's the last time you think an Alachua County King was found? I don't know. Probably the 50s, 60s, <laughs> maybe 70s. Baker County. Now Baker Park County would be Osceola National Forest area and um, Look at the distance of the bands, and I would assume that it was a pretty light speckled king by those scales. All right, really neat looking snake. Columbia County. Jackson County, EKs. Kind of basically Central Florida in the middle of the state showing there was king snakes there at one time. This is awesome. It's awesome and also depressing because you can't find them there anymore. <laughs> uh, so there's a pretty light colored one here from Volusia, along with a darker one. Definitely variable. So here's one Lafayette County, which is really interesting to me, being that it's so far inland, 1962. Makes Brooks king snakes, and it was its own subspecies, Lampropeltis getula brooksi. But now we recognize this as just a light color phase of Florida king snake. Florida king snakes tend to have higher band counts than eastern kings, and Brooks kings tend to have band counts in the high range for Florida king snakes. So they get higher as you get further south on the peninsula of Florida in general. But some of these, when they get big, turn almost patternless looking, where you can barely see those cross bands on the back. One thing a lot of the, uh, the old time herpers would talk about is the kind of purplish markings on the belly of Brooks king snakes. They're definitely not as dark as a lot of Florida kings and uh, kind of reduced. They're definitely a lot more yellow than 
than black or that purplish color on the belly. So this is a Florida king snake descending from the sugarcane field area of Palm Beach County, Florida. Now you notice it's got a little more of like a chocolate brown color than the Brooks King. It's a uh, more of kind of a brown and, and yellow snake. The belly on this has kind of a black and yellow pattern. These snakes definitely live in very disturbed areas. They're not found much in natural habitats, mainly along canals and ditches in sugarcane fields in Palm Beach County. This is a Highlands County King Snake. It tends to look similar to the cane fields, except darker, with maybe a little less specks. These kings are just found north of Okeechobee and are definitely have the Florida king snake look to them. So this king snake descends from Pinellas County, Florida. The Pinellas kings are kind of intergrades between a Florida king and an eastern king. They definitely tend more towards the Florida king look, but they still have that kind of chain pattern and a uh, lower band count than a typical Florida king. Now, depending on where you're at in Pinellas County, they can be almost solid black background, or they can be more speckly like this one. We call this the kind of the sand king look that you might see from more uh, scrubby, uh, sand dune type areas, but you also have king snakes in Pinellas County that are almost solid black in color with, with the banding. This is a Florida king snake from Hillsborough County, Florida. In fact, this is the last king snake that I know of being found in Hillsborough County. It was found in 2007 under a board in a vacant lot surrounded by development by my friend Nick Mesa, who generously allowed us to film it for this. But uh, unfortunately, most of that area has been developed and just the Tampa area in general, there aren't a lot of places left for king snakes to live. It's a pretty typical looking Florida king snake. Some of the snakes in that area were known to be lighter, others were darker, but this one's probably pretty typical. Unfortunately, it's not something you're going to get to see very often these days. This is a king snake from Pasco County, Florida. That basically looks like a typical Florida king snake. Um, they probably still have a hint of eastern king snake influence there, and some of the snakes look more eastern kingish than this. But, uh, you know, generally similar to Pinellas County Kings and Hernando County Kings, but you'll see how they kind of change as you go further north or south along the coast. I'd say this is a pretty typical looking Florida King, but with a slightly lower band count. This is a King Snake from Hernando County, Florida. And this really is kind of halfway in between Florida King and an Eastern King and looks. You can see it's got some speckling, kind of barely showing through, but its pattern and its color is generally pretty similar to an Eastern King or Chain King. Kind of has a Chain King pattern. Not all of them look like this though. Some of them have more speckling, some of them have higher band counts, so it's still an intergrade zone and you get a variety of looks there. Okay, this is a Citrus County King. This King has an Eastern King look to it, but the band counts is a slightly, seems to be a little bit more than the Hernando and the Pasco. This King tends to be a little darker than those Kings. And if you were to compare it to say a King Snake from Bavard, Bavard County, that they look very similar but the Bavard was probably a lot darker looking king. Okay, here's an example of a Levy County King. Levy County King is the county just north of Citrus. And as you can see, the Eastern King look is very prevalent here. 
you're starting to get the, uh, the bands without any specks. This snake has less bands than the Citrus County King. And it's in the zone where you start really seeing Eastern King looks. Very nice snakes that come from this area. This is an Eastern King snake from Dixie County, Florida. Now, they may have just a hint of Florida King influence there. It might be called an intergrade, but for the most part, they're looking like an Eastern King when you get that far north. You'll see the chain pattern on the side. That's why some people call Eastern Kings chain kings. But kind of a more yellowish color. This one's got a little bit of brownish tinge right now. Uh, when he sheds his skin, he'll probably look more yellow, though. This is an eastern king snake from Taylor County, Florida. And once you get up as far north as Taylor County, you may have just a hint of Florida king snake influence, but they really are more like eastern king snakes. Uh, you get that chain pattern on the side with some of these. This is before you really get into the area of Apalachicola king snake influence. Okay, this king is from Wakulla County. Um, these can be variable with bands, specks. So you could get anything that almost could look like a, it's called a Apalachicola king in Wakulla County. But this is a typical look. Very nice, large king snake. This is the Apalachicola Lowlands King Snake. In the old field guides, these were the Gorni, and they were always just called blotched kings. But recently, the genus has changed to Meansy, Means I, and this snake can be highly, highly variable from large bands that look EK to all speckled, patternless, to even striped. So it's a highly, highly, highly variable snake found in the Apalachicola National Forest region from the coast northward. Thank you.